Hey guys, I um, just got done working out in my holy shirt, as you can see, um, and I'm going to be feeding Connor here, so um, this is probably going to be super distracting and crazy, but anyway, bear with me. I am here for a story time. I know y'all have been waiting for one, and I am ready to give you one, so here we go. Yesterday was quite an eventful day. Yesterday, we went and bought some stuff. I got my hair cut. Um, we got some stuff for the Wednesday night dinner last night at our church. And anyway, so we had been out and about. And when we got home, I decided that I was going to blow the leaves off the trampoline. I don't know why it bothers me so bad, but it really bothers me when there's a lot of stuff on the trampoline and how our house is. Um, there's trees on both sides of the backyard and the front yard's really small and right on the road so we wouldn't put the trampoline in the front yard. So the backyard, there's not a good place to put it where it ain't going to get piled with leaves during this season. So um, we got a little leaf blower. It's like a little bitty tiny thing. Um, and But it does the job. I have to get on though and blow them off. Look at this. What are you doing? What on earth are you doing? <laughs> Silly goose. Ah! There you are. So wild. Here, let me help you. Mm. Okay. Bye-bye. So, see, it's going to be super distracting. So, we had been out and about. We had, um, anyway, we got back home. I turn on cartoons, Connor's watching cartoons, and I go out and I'm going to blow the leaves off the trampoline. I have to climb up on the trampoline, blow them out, and you can blow them out, you know, the little holes on the side under the net. Because we have the net, or he'd fall off a hundred billion times. But anyway, so I go to that, and I get done, and I'm going to come back through the house and go out the front door and blow the leaves off the steps. Because we have like seven or eight concrete steps. And like they get, the leaves get up in the corner and it stays wet and moist and it's just gross. And so I'm going to blow the leaves off the steps, right? But when I get to the door, the door's locked. And I had a moment of panic and then I'm like, Connor can unlock it. It's no big deal. I'll talk him through it. Have you ever tried to talk your child through something like that? So I knock on the door till he comes to the door. He throws back the curtain because there's a, our door is like the kind hey. with the glass. The kind with the glass. So he looks through the curtain at me and I'm like, let me in. I'm locked out. So he proceeds to knock at me. So then I jiggle the doorknob. So he starts jiggling the doorknob. And I'm like, well, I've got him on the doorknob at least. So I'm like, turn the lock, turn the lock. And like he's just looking at me like what are you talking about so I peck on the window and I'm trying to point in toward the knob well when I peck on the window he takes his finger and he pecks in the exact spot I pecked and I'm like this is going to be difficult so this goes on for a while and finally he puts his hand on the lock and I was like yes yes turn it turn it and he drops the lock like I think I freaked him out because I got so excited and I got excited for nothing so this went on for probably close to an hour and I went around to the front door because the front door has this weird kind of lock and all you do is like push this little button up and I was like oh that might be easier for him to do so I go to the front door and I'm beating on it because the way our house is set up it's hard to hear when someone knocks so I'm like having to beat on the front door and I know my neighbors were like what is going on and so I'm beating on the front door and finally he comes and he looks out it and he starts jiggling the thing to unlock it. So I'm like, oh, we're, I'm about to get in. And then he just gives up. He quits. He's right on the doorknob, you know, knocking at me. Same thing as the back door. And um, I'm like, you almost had it. Keep trying. Keep trying. And he, like, goes. And I can see him barely through, like, the a hole in the curtain. And he goes and sits down in his rocking chair. And I'm like... Come back, come back, Connor, come back, Connor, come back. And he he's going like this from his rocking chair. So, so yeah, so I'm like, what am I going to do to get in this house? Because 
Connor can be unsupervised for a little while. I mean, it, I wouldn't leave him anywhere else, but in our house, you know, I've like ran out and mowed the yard before and stuff as long as I have. <laughs> put your shirt down. Mm. As long as I have cartoons on or whatever, but because I know when you turn on the TV, he's just going to sit there. But like, I don't know. There's something about knowing you cannot get in to where he's at that is a little flustering. So, even though I can see him sitting there perfectly fine in his rocker. But when I had been knocking on the back door trying to get him to open it, I think he realized I was locked out then and he was alone. And he started kind of whimpering. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't want him in full down full-blown panic mode because then it's going to make me upset you know so anyway so I go to my neighbors who is my landlord's mother I go to her house and um her dog about eats me up it's a whole thing but anyway <laughs> it's all good so um I tell her who I am and I um ask her if she can call her daughter for me so she calls anyway long story short my landlords are nowhere near here they were like almost two hours away at an appointment so I'm like okay so I'm like um she invites me to come in her house and hang out till they can get there or till Jeremy can get off or whatever and um I'm like no I mean Connor's in the house which she didn't realize that and she was like oh and then she was like can he not unlock the door and I'm like I've been trying for like an hour anyway so long story short they tell me how to get in and I'm not going to talk about it on here but I'm just gonna say that I'm like a ninja warrior okay and I can get through tiny spaces and I can do big things so anyway I get in the house okay and I'm covered in leaves and I'm covered in dirt and it's like six o'clock see I had I didn't have my phone or anything I had no idea what time it was okay so it's like six o'clock and I'm like oh my god Meanwhile, Jeremy called. He's like, what's going on? What's happening? Blah, blah, blah. Um, why didn't you just call me? And I'm like, well, somebody needs to work. You know <laughs> I mean? And I didn't know what time it was. I didn't know it was so close to him getting off, okay? That was crazy on my part. But obviously, I was not thinking rationally, okay? So, I tell him, I don't know what to do because I've got to take a shower. But church starts at 630 and I had ice and drinks. And dessert and dessert I knew other people had probably brought dessert but like the ice and drinks I didn't know if we had any at the church because long story short I don't have a key I need to get a key made so if I don't look on Sunday and of course I didn't remember to look on Sunday I don't have a key to get back in unless Jeremy's home he was at home anyway I'm thinking in my mind there's there's got to be ice and drinks okay so He's like, well, why don't you just come down there, bring your ice and drinks, and then you can leave. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's what I'll have to do. So, I go down there. Luckily, people were already there. This was like 6.15-ish. People were already there. And so, I um, take my ice and drinks, and someone else had brought ice and drinks. So, I could have went ahead and hopped in the shower. It would have been fine. But anyway, I didn't know that at the time. So, I... I take my ice and drinks. Meanwhile, Jeremy comes, so I leave Connor with him. Anyway, I go home to take a shower. And let me say that before I went to church, I went in the bathroom. Because I'm like, maybe I can just, like, scrub it, kind of, with a baby wipe or something and throw on clean clothes. So, but when I get in the bathroom and I look in the mirror, I realize that my hair, like... There was dirt and like in bed, like I'm picking leaves out of it. And I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll make this work. And like when I looked at my part, there was like dirt embedded in my hair. And I was like, yeah, I feel gross. Like I could have done it, but I didn't want to do it. Okay. So that's why I did what I did. I took Connor and dropped off the food and stuff. I dropped off Connor. Jeremy was there and I came home to shower. And so I came home, I showered. Y'all, the amount of dirt and junk that was all over. So then I had to wash those clothes. Anyway, I showered. I got ready. I went to church. I ate. Everybody was already in their classes because, like, we eat and then they go to classes. So everybody was in their classes. So I got to walk right up and eat. And it was all good and kind of calmed myself down. And so, which I was fine, but you're flustered at that point, you know. So anyway, that is my story for today.
And I guess Jeremy had told everybody, so everybody's like, hey, hope your day's better tomorrow. Hope you don't get locked in tomorrow. Did you get in your house? You know, and I will say that, because um, I've had someone already ask me how I got locked out, and how I got locked out is I have a horrible habit of when I go out the door, I lock it behind me. And it's normally I'm leaving. I've actually never done that when I've just been going out you know, to take out the trash or to blow leaves off the trampoline. Um, but I did it today. And, like, I think the one of the worst parts is, like, you could have called and then having somebody come if you realize. But I'm, like, on the trampoline blowing off leaves and, like, have no idea until I go to get in. You don't realize. So, that is my locked out story. And I hope I do not do that again because clearly Connor cannot unlock the door and when I came back in I thought about trying to give him a little lesson on unlocking the door and then I was like no I kind of like that knowing that he's not going to let anyone in you know that's kind of good because if not if somebody knocks he might just let him in you never know and we're in a pretty good neighborhood but there's some crazies around you know that might try to come get in anyway that is my story it was crazy it was crazy but it was fine. And I don't know why I didn't think to just call Jeremy. But like I said, I didn't realize it was so close to time for him to get off. And I didn't want him to have to leave work. Because it's like telling your boss you got to leave because your wife left herself out. And I was embarrassed already. Um, I was super embarrassed. So, anyway. And I know what y'all are going to say. You should make a key and hide it and blah, blah, blah. And yeah, we probably should. But, anyway. So, that's my story. Um... It was crazy, wasn't it, Connor? You want to tell him about Mama getting locked out? Tell him Mama got locked out of the house yesterday. Yeah. And she had to knock and knock and knock. You're not going to tell him? He is so interested in eating. So, let's see if there's anything else I need to tell you about it. Anyway, I take comfort in knowing if I have to. I'm one of these people that I'm like, find a positive. You can find a positive in anything if you look. So, the positive is... I got in. Yay me. And also a positive is that I've lost so much weight and was able to get in this tiny little space. Yay me. And a positive is um, I know Connor is not going to open the door for anyone. So, because like when I go to take a shower and stuff, you know, I just turn on the TV, do what I need to do, you know. And so, it's nice to know that if someone knocked, he would not be letting him in. And that's why I didn't bring him in and give him a lesson on unlocking. Because I think if I worked with him on it, he could do it. Um, but, yeah. So, I decided not to do that. I think maybe it's a good thing. So, anyway. That is my story time today. I'm sorry it's not more interesting. But that is what happened yesterday. You want to tell him bye? Look here. No, he left. <laughs> okay. So... The moral of the story is watch those habits that you have because they can get you in trouble sometimes. <laughs> Bye, guys.